Hey guys, this is Ludwig, and welcome to another episode of Ludwig Academy. Today we will be talking about limit breaking. Uh, so we often do get this question, what should I limit break for this character or that trophy character? Uh, so we'll talk about all types of the limit breaks today and hopefully that will clear up everything. Okay, so first let's talk about the attack limit break. So this is the most common limit break to go and then it's the most effective one for a character. Uh, despite it being effective, contrary to other games, a attack break only adds about 200 attack per node. So for every 5 levels that you limit break, it's only about 200 attack. And then if you add up all 4 limit breaks, it's probably about 100 attack in total. Uh, so how effective is that? Well, you can do the math. And then if a character has about like 6.5k attack, well, 800 more attack is something like 13% more attack and therefore 13% more damage. Um, so therefore every attack limit break is something around like 3% more damage. It's not really effective unless you stack the limit breaks. And now let's look at um, I guess the second most used limit break, that's the mono limit break. And this is pretty much only used for the frame lock era 5 stars because they're missing like one or two MP limit breaks for another SS3. So it's recommended to do this if after you achieve every single MP buff or MP reduction tool available you're still missing a little bit of MP for another SS3, uh, then that's the time to do an MP limit break. So as you see for Tails Leafa, um, after two MP limit breaks, she has 292 MP and then I'm using the current ranking accessory right now. Uh, how So she just hits 292 and then that's just enough for a 360 in battle with every single MP buff. And so I listed how much MP you need for 360 in battle um, under different conditions, but you can always just go in and check out how much MP you're, you're missing. Right, and finally, uh, I think we have an HP and defense limit break, so we don't really talk about that. Uh, it's almost never useful. Um, even for units that self-heal, giving them more attack, um, I think it gives them more self-heal anyway, so therefore, if you want to tank your character, you will still give them more attack. Alright, and then how to get hacking crystals. So normal hacking crystals, I'm sure you know how to get those, and then you get a lot of them when you pull duplicate 5 stars and 4 stars. Uh, for elemental hacking crystals, you get them by pulling duplicate 6 stars. Uh, now, the element is just based on whatever, which character you pull, and then if you pull an upgraded 6 star duplicate, you only get 50 of these. So be conscious of that, and therefore it's never recommended to pull an upgraded banner. You can also get elemental HC through trading the other elements of yeah, other, other types of elemental HC, but um, that you usually don't really have that opportunity. And finally, for all mighty HC, everybody has the same opportunity to get these, or everybody gets the same amount, unless there's some in the shop, but these are really precious. Uh, you typically want to keep around 100 on yourself. Alright, so basically attack limit break is still the to-go limit break, unless you need more MP. And mana limit break is only valuable for the units I listed earlier. Besides those units, I don't think there's anyone else that really requires an MP LP. So I haven't really talked about trophy units yet, but typically if you can't upgrade them, they need like a 3 to 4 MP LBs to do another S3. So if you're going to break down three times, you already can upgrade it. Therefore, they should never be, they should never have MP limit breaks on them. Alright, so let's also look at this drop rate table. Uh, the significance of this is for veterans, you basically never run out of normal hacking crystals. And you can use them a little bit more freely if you're a veteran. Uh, I still recommend to keep around 400 on you just in case you get like a super lucky pull, a uh, fatal bullet you know, for example. Uh, for newer players, it's a little hard to accumulate, so I recommend to just be very wise on using them. Alright, and next time we will talk about pull rates and probability in, I guess, the Scamco game, so see you next time.